So what Hello. Now, what we're doing today is I'm going to test to see if Dumbo here, i.e. me, can get any kind of images on the plate from magazines. I've cut these two out and we'll try those. And I've got another one to try here, which is quite high contrast. So that should work if anything's going to. I've left this on the plate because, well, why not really having a test? And I'm going to use Payne's Grey. Here we go. And Violet is in the corner there to tell me when I'm doing it wrong. Aren't you, Igor? I'm here. I'm here. Yes, Master, I'm here. <laughs> Look, Master. <laughs> Now this is the eight by ten plate because we've been playing with the other plates to warm them up, <laughs> and yeah. we've warmed them, warmed them up so well that they're now full of prints. <laughs> oh well. Now what you do is, according to Devon Rex, pop it on, pop it on. Now, I think you're right about using another sheet at the back. Right. Uh, keep your keep your hands there. Piece fairly. of card. Piece Not of card. Out. Rayer it down. Yeah. Baron. Baron it down, yes. Sorry. Starting to talk like me. <laughs> no. Well, that's pulled off the edges, so that's fine. And now we pull these off and see if we've got anything underneath, which we probably won't have. Well, we shall see. No, nothing there. Well, nothing you can see. No, there might be something. I don't know. I don't think it was quite dark enough. The other one might work better. Anyway, those two are done for. Now we need a now we need to put another layer on there, don't we? We dry that first and then put a, a layer to pull it up with. Preferably a light one. So that there's a chance of being able to see what we might have. I'm thinking this is a fail. I've got me piece of paper already. So let's get the <coughs> fan out. <laughs> Which I am on the yeah, I'm thinking if it left anything, we would have seen something laying on Well, I can see some traces, but I don't know if it's just paint or whether there's actually an impression. Right. It might not have been high contrast enough, although we thought it was. Exactly. Might. That's why we've got the other sheets there with definite high contrast. Which is why, which is why I suggested um, using that face, not because I wanted a pull of that face, but because I wanted. Yeah, but the perfect eye contrast. contrast. Yeah. Yeah, and then well, go from there. But I put that sheet there for the other side. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, we'll see. Well, so we're going to pull that with a lighter color. So let's do Amsterdam's Titan Black. Because that's about as light as you can get. There was another image that had a lady in it in a blue suit or something. So that would have been. Well, least... yeah, that one might have. I put that one in for the lady. So we shall see. All right. That's a nice layer. I have to come in, see what I'm doing. Yeah. Now, sometimes they, the um, Devon would um, pull it immediately, and sometimes she would go, "No, I'm going to leave that one." 
So it's pretty much the same idea as anything else. You pull a corner to see if you're getting anything, and if you're not, leave it. Right. And that's just the paper. That's not even the, the image. There's an image. There it is. Oh, I see. Okay. I was wrong. Okay. Okay. So you can see the greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. So what if you had left it on there longer? Maybe I would have got more. Maybe I need to clean that because um, it might be, I mean, that was supposed to be strawberries. And yeah. that was um, the greenhouse. But you can actually see the building, can't you? There. Yep. Yeah. It's so there was something there. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll do the gloves. Uh, first, I want to clean this off because, you know, it's getting in the way. Yeah, it's what masking did I do with your my image. Yep, because that's masking your image to come through. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good idea. I mean, it's all very well if you don't care uh, on the end print. It's just you just want a trace of something. But if you actually want to test what you're doing, I think we might need to do that. So then my question would be the image that you use, you only get one pull off of it? Yep. Okay. There but was I... somebody who was saying, I think it might have been Jane McDonald, who was saying that a method, she was doing the, um... no, I'm going to have to go back and have a look because I looked at quite a few people doing these things. Right. I'm going to have to try and wipe that off with a, a baby wipe, I think, because I don't think that's going to come off any time today. By one, maybe with some water. By one pull, I mean not an actual pull, but only one time can you lay the image down. The image is only good for that one time. Yeah. Okay. So those other bits that we're seeing must be on the other side of the gel plate. No, no, they're on this side, but they're the drier one from, you know, sort of a um, few days ago. <laughs> so now I should be able to pull those off because it was the wet paint was not allowing me to pull it off with the sticky tape. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Just trying to find the end of the, here we are, end of the sort of tape. Still not coming off. Well, how about we print on the other side? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's why I asked yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, I so think you're you right. Wanna, the other side you is... might want to wipe it off anyways in case it picked up bits from your table. Yeah. Well, that was off the um brown packing tape. Not packing tape, brown packing material, the paper, and it was highly absorbent. <clears throat> so I reckon that's why it did that. So uh, it, it was so absorbent that it wrinkled before you could finish putting it down. S similar to the way the paper does, but more so. And um, it just went on crinkling. <sighs> Got my fingers stuck in the sellotape now. Now then. So Payne's grey again. <clears throat> There you go. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. Now you're removing it. Yep. Yep. <coughs> you can actually see. I've watched P a little closer when she's done this, and you can actually start seeing where you're removing. I never paid attention until she said that. <coughs>
Now I'm thinking that would have been the side that would be high contrast. <clears throat> well, we're doing this side. We can do that side next. <clears throat> yes, we could. Oh, well, no. now there's a print there. I see it. You can see hands, shapes of hands and some text Something there. Yeah. <clears throat> so you have to let it get good and dry, right? So we need yep. a special fan. This is as special as it gets. <laughs> you know, it's too bad you can't tie a fan to, to Rufus's tail and get him all excited. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I need to do it. Well, just hold, get him excited and hold him over the plate. <laughs> that could be really disaster. It could be a bit of burnt umber there. <laughs> and hair and dog hair flying all over. Well, that's true. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Hit the camera. Hit the entire Kindle. Now this is darker, so it may not be dry yet. Okay, let's twiddle our thumbs and tell a story. Do we have a story to tell? Hmm. I think it's dry. I think it's dry. I think it's dry. I think it's dry. I'm going to try the other side of that one, and I'm going to use <clears throat> uh, Naples Yellow Deep because the gloves were yellow, and why not? Okay. All right, now we've got what we're doing here. Hmm. Right. Now you've got to, I was just remembering what Devon was saying, you've got to take this off so you can see a bit of the image underneath. Yep. <clears throat> Which means that in the, in the end, you don't have to put so much on to begin with. Yeah. But you've still got to sort of bray it out so that it's nice yeah. and even. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good as I can get it, I reckon. Right. Now, can we bring the original image back so we know what we're looking for? No. No. Okay. Because it's black. Oh. Okay. But you can sort of see what's there. Oh, that's the letter R H S might show up. So we'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> see, I'm beginning to think because I see when your paper buckles, I'm beginning to think maybe that paper is too, too thin. thin, too. Yeah. Next time use a card. Yeah. Could well, you I've got do that? One down there. Would that be yeah, okay? I've got a Yep. Yep. Cause I don't like seeing the paper buckle like that. I wanna I wanna see if it's the paper. image. Got an image. Oh my, you did it. Oh yeah, I've got the image of the gloves. You World's did finest gardening gloves. <laughs> there you go. And that was the first one. And you can still just see the outline of the building there, I the greenhouse. That, there's the, the roof. There's the 
porch. Can't really see the strawberries and that up there because of all that mess on the plate, I think. But so, yeah. A little more. So it does work. work. A bit more contrast. Yeah. A bigger picture with more contrast. Let's That's try the lady. We've got the lady. Let's try the lady on card this time. Okay. I'm just not liking your paper. It shouldn't. It shouldn't uh, suck up like that and leave those and wet the paper like that. That's. What about tissue? What about that wet strength tissue? It, up to you. Anything but the paper. I'd like to see how something else besides. Well, let's that. try the card first. We'll try the card first, then we'll try the wet strength tissue. Yeah. Because I I'm thinking you need to get a better quality paper. Or different. Where's the lady? Not that lady. The other lady. The blue lady. That's a question I would present in group or to Mo. If you're in contact with Mo, that you see too often your paper pulls up like that. Yeah. And so maybe they maybe they've had that experience and can explain it. Like maybe it's not a good quality paper to work with or too much paint or what, what is going on that it's happening? Uh huh. Because you have, I, that think, I'll try the, I think I'll try the Amsterdam Prussian blue. Hee <laughs> hee. Because that was my very first, my very, very first Amsterdam. It's always one of my favorite colors. Yeah, me too. And in any case, she's blue, so. lady blue lady she'll be off to one side but that's just so that i can use the whole sheet down here see what comes yeah. up and what doesn't <clears throat> baron go ahead and use the baron make sure you co get good coverage there see it's it's even that paper's pulling up. So uh -oh. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if there's, and I took the volume off there, so I don't understand why it did that. Oh, no print. Look at that. That's a good print. Look at that. Wow. See the contrast. Oh. Not that I like the face, but. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to try that one with the faces. There's a few of those through that magazine, so we'll try one on the thin paper like this, and then we'll try the one on the front cover, which may not work at all or may work a lot better. Depends on what the print was done with and what the pages were made of, etc. Can you turn so. your gel plate so I can see her upright? Because her face is actually getting a glare from the light, and I just want to see how much you got there. Oh, wow. Great definition. Very nice. Not too bad at all. Got a bit of dog hair. Well, truthfully, truthfully, if you don't want the print, go ahead and paint over it already and smear it. It doesn't matter because you don't want it. That's all right. She wasn't a bad lady. It was the other one I didn't like, the one advertising the glasses. Looked too much like me. <laughs> I think it's ready. So we're going to do this one on the card. Uh, I'm going to have to turn it round. It's harder yeah. to do that way. That's okay. That's okay. I just wanted to see that briefly. Just wanted to see her in full. <laughs> 
Oh, no, I've got to put the paint on first. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to do Titan buff. See what happens. Yeah. What's down there, Prussian blue? Yeah, Titan buff. Prussian Go blue. ahead. Yeah. That or the, the, the yellow would have been a good contrast. Yeah. Yeah. But I did the yellow last time, you see, so. Yep. That's getting hard to close. I'm going to have to clean that one up. Okay. That's good. You're pulling up now. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to get blobs, but I don't know how to stop the blobs. I really don't. <clears throat> that's paper, right? No. Nope. Oh, that's the card. That's why it's not buckling. That's the card. Yeah, that's the card. That's why it's not buckling. And while that's sitting there, and I'm, I'll grab a bit of tissue for next time from the pile. I have got some tissue. Well, kind of got some tissue. Okay. Ready? Da, 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 da. Oh, that's good. If, if it wasn't for the blobs, that would be good. Da, 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 da. Let me see. Oh. This Fran, you did it. Off our concept. Ordering is easy. We even I can even see the phone number. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Okay. Yeah, it's not but nobody else would like it because the face isn't great. But um, I don't know what to do about the blobs. I mean, I put blobs suggestion on the blobs. Instead of putting it yeah. down on the plate, put it down on your palette knife and spread it on like P does, like you do when you take it out of the jar. Does that make yeah. sense? You get but less. You still blobs. get blobs from the concentrated paint, uh, paint in those areas. I'm not sure. It's a good question, though. If you look at your prints where you used your mix, you didn't have blobs because you oh, applied okay. you applied to the palette. Oh, okay. So it seems like extra work, but pour it onto your palette knife and then spread it. Okay. Because you got some, you did it. You did it. You did it. Now I'm excited. I've got to go try it. I've got to go search mm. my magazine. It's not as complicated as people make out. I, I was thinking it was so complicated. I couldn't figure it out from, from what P was saying, but I could so, do that one. That's so, high contrast, all right, isn't it? I think I'd do that one. So what? how brave are you feeling about doing laser print? Um, mm. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, you know where you can get more laser print, right? Yeah, it just seems a waste. They're so nice. Here we are. Let's try that one. That one. I'll just do it on on as it is like that. You can do the other side because if you look at this, the other side is still there. Right, that's what I said. If you wanted a print of that, mm. but we already know it works, so it's it's 
Yeah, we already know you can do it. All these tests. So let's, let's try this one to see if I've, I'm right about the amount of contrast. I'm not convinced, but let me have a go. Okay. <clears throat> Or, or I can cut that one out and do those two together. Yeah. You mean the, the, the faces and the tower and the building? No. Oh, because that's two different. The grasshopper. Okay. Go ahead. Whatever A bush you do. What do you think? I'll do that one. I'll do that one, I think. I'll just do that one. <clears throat> And I like it with the with the blue. The blue is working quite well. Oh, you want me to do it with the thingy? Okay, let's yeah, see if we can get rid of it. Palette knife this time and spread it on instead of globbering it on. You know, spread it on like you would with your yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to get exaggerated. It's on there. G E. Now, now use your brayer. <clears throat> Don't take off too much. Yep. <clears throat> grasshopper patient grasshopper that would have been a high contrast too <laughs> no that really it's actually, isn't. it's actually a cricket oh okay i look like a grasshopper to me but they say on the info there that it's a cricket what would we say <clears throat> oh cricket my jiminy cricket okay Yeah, do you know what? Go around with your baron before you pull. Go around with your baron. Never mind. Go around with your baron and do all the way to the outside, all the outside edges. Go off. Yep, there you go. Go off with the baron. There you go. Okay. Just, just uh, because I I've watched blue on me. Blue on me baron. All right. Blue now, baron. Now go ahead and do a pull. <clears throat> there you go. Oh. Do we see him? I think I might. I think I've got the cricket. Okay, get the fan out. Get that special fan out. <laughs> it's what? Oh, it's, I thought it was coming in. I thought it was coming in. Sorry about that. See, the thin layer dries quite fast. We've got the buildings. I can see the buildings. That's, that feels a little tacky just yet. <clears throat> Tissue. Just to make sure, I know there's not supposed to be a difference, but I found a difference, so I'm going to do it this way around. Well, there was definitely a difference with the cardstock, <clears throat> any buckling or warping. So now you do hear, but that's okay. We've always just called that adding to the texture. Yeah. But we're well, still I didn't intend to do that. That's okay. Where it tissue paper tends to do that, like it or not. No, that's going to stay down. It's not coming up. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put any color on at all. I just put it straight on. What an idiot! Right. Some tight and buff down. See if we can pick up the remnants. Oh, I've done it without the 
same. And you didn't get any blobs, did you? So that's good. You don't have to smear Never. the whole thing. Just like you normally would when you pull it out of your pot. There you go. Just there you go. It's less concentrated in one spot then, and then you don't have blobs. I, I don't know if there's much of an image left though. Yeah, wow. that's a trouble. Oh, well, that was my fault. That was. Well, did anything come off into the tissue paper? Oh, a little looks, bit. That looks like clouds. Uh, that looks like clouds. That's cool. Yeah, see, less blobs, less blobbiness. Okay, now tissue paper. Oh, that's me at first. My bad. Yeah. There you go. Trying not to get the creases. Oh, it didn't. You didn't either, did you? Good job. Okay. Well, there's a little one there, but that's just from drying. That's not from dampness, not from my I cack handedness. I'd like to know why your paper does that. <clears throat> yes, don't do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> don't do it my way, my way don't work. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? No. Yes, no. What do we got here? Well, it's good as it would have been if I hadn't messed it up. <clears throat> Let me see. Come on. You can see the buildings there. See the buildings? Yeah. It's that way up. Lost the cricket. Uh, lost the cricket. Yeah. You can see a faint bit of it, but no. Yeah, it's I a did. pity. It would have come out quite well, I think, otherwise. But the buildings came out all right. And some of the text up there, look. Yeah, I can't so. see it. Well, I'll I'll have to cut that bit off now. Yeah. Yeah. Make the next bit a bit easier to do. you learn yes we we'll like it so we'll try the faces this time and i want to get that off first so i'll do that on the back of something There we go. Not too bad now. Now, we'll do the Amsterdam again. <clears throat> the Prussian blue? No, uh, uh, yeah, Prussian blue.
Right, <clears throat> let's try this one. can feel some bubbles you see so I'm trying to smooth those out yep I see the the buckling yeah it's it's um oh no I got something what yeah. exactly I do not know magic <clears throat> magic uh, dryer get the magic fan out Where we sing and dance. No. Magic fan, magic fan, riding through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's two songs. Mullet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm starting to feel a bit better taking those two tablets. That's One tablet. One tablet. Remember, we're recording. Yeah. So it's just a tablet because I was feeling a bit, mm, and it's working fine. I'm feeling a lot better. So that's lovely. Yeah. Right. Let's put this on. You know, I just realized I keep leaning in to see the screen better, and I could actually click on this button and go full screen. Yeah, yes, you could. And I just realized that. Why don't I do that <laughs> instead of sticking my nose up on my monitor? There you go. That's better. Less, less blobbies. Let's see how that goes. I forgot what the original image was. It was the faces. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll clean this up a bit more. Uh oh, I hope that's not your notes down there. It was, but oh well. Something's on there. Something's on it. your brayer. I can see it. There you go. Nope. Something's on your brayer. There. What is on your brayer? I don't know. I can't see it. I have to clean it off. Take your baby wipe and wipe that. There you go. Tissue paper? Yep, tissue paper. See if we can get a bit of print on tissue paper. Layer it down with no buckles, like you did. Trying. Excuse me, head. Yep. There we go. Oh! Not a wedge of critical minion. <sighs> I've seen Devon Rex doing it with a hand saying you can actually feel the bubbles better with your hands than you can with a brayer and I know what she means now yeah. Right. 
Karen. Well, you can just about see the faces. Just about. They look rather like pumpkins in a field. But the text came out really nicely. So not, <laughs> enough, not enough contrast, but oh, I can see the face. I can There's see the, the face. Yeah. yeah so maybe do that one, see if the trees will come out on the path. The path will probably come out. Maybe. What else have we got? So that makes fire. sense why, why you see a lot of people do these transfers. They use faces. Yeah, because you can see the faces. Yes. Yep. But I don't get those sort of magazines. Now, the buildings came out quite nice, remember? On the edge of the one with the cricket. Here's the rest of the buildings. I reckon that oh. would come out. So I reckon I'm going to do that one. And what did I do that one with? The paint spray. Oh, you did? Didn't I do it with the paint spray? I thought you stayed I think with the paint but I could be wrong. I go ahead. I think I did Payne's Grey and then um, Naples Yellow Deep, I think. I'm not sure. <clears throat> well, let's try it anyway and see what happens. Probably waited too long now. But I reckon there might be enough contrast in that image to do it later. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up quick before I make a mistake. Ooh, yes, the stripy building come out. Ooh, you can nice. see the nice, there, nice transfer. And it's not a nice print, it's a nice transfer. I've heard that said before. <laughs> Right, where's my special fan? I'm going to have to do a lot of cleanup. My palette knife's got really mucky now. Didn't quite make it. Yeah, it, it looked like it had wrinkles in it already. Oh, well. Just only a test run. Yep. It's all right. And I'm leaning over here, almost falling out of my chair, trying to look under. <laughs> <laughs> nice pull. Look at that. Wow. You know what makes the difference? I'm the Holy cow. You, you get a nice picture, you get a nice image with good contrast, and then you use a light color back there to make it pop out. Yeah, yeah, that seems to work pretty well. Yeah. Yep. If I didn't have the creases, it'd be lovely. If it had been a card, it would have come out quite well, I think. Now, I'm liking the Amsterdam Prussian blue. So I think I'll go for that again. Keep forgetting not to, to do it with the palette knife. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. We shall see. Can't really tell at this stage. I think I can see some of that round thing. I think I'll use the Titan buff on this one. No particular reason. Just want to see what happens.
Okay. The trees came out there, those um, plants. Yeah. And the insect didn't come out. Those plants came out, all those purple ones. I didn't think there'd be enough contrast for that. I didn't either. I would not. Have... Yeah. <laughs> but that pattern that you liked, that came out as well. And there's quite a bit of text on there too. So, yeah. I wonder what would happen if I tried that image and put Titan Buff down instead of something dark. And then maybe use something darker to pull it with. Oh. Let's just give it a go. We are testing. We are mad scientists. There's mad Frankie. She's back. Woohoo. We shall see. We shall indeed. And we shall go, no, it was better the other way. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Um, there. And I've got to put Jules Verne on there. Oh, there's the flower I was talking about with not a lot of contrast. You might get the shape of it on the background. That's high contrast. But the actual flower itself isn't very. And I guess the next one we should do should be P's and P and M's luscious doodahs transfers. Luscious doodah transfers. You'll have to you'll have to explain. Oh, your your LPs. Yeah. <laughs> so, so give her a moment. Give her a moment. <laughs> Quickio. Yeah, quit laughing and put it down. Okay. Nothing. <clears throat> so. There we go. There we go. So there's the plate. Nice. The, let me just trim the edge so I can see where I am. Just want to be able to fit it on. Or should I trim it more? Because I don't want all that white, do I? I don't want to yeah. what I was thinking was to put it across like that, you see? Oh. Because if I just put it like that, it's, yeah. but if I put it across like that, I think that's going to work quite well. So, colours, colours, colours. I've seen P use the Prussian blue. We've all seen P use the Prussian blue, and it does work very well. Yeah, the Naples Yellow Deep, I think. Right. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Isn't that lovely? This one's coming. This one's coming. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say yes. this is an LP, so oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> look at that. I just want to say thank you very much, PM Artist Studio, for sharing that LP yeah. with Fran. It's that, that is that is the best. That's after lovely. all that practice with the magazines, it was like, yeah, that's fine, that's good, that's okay. And then pulling this, it's like, wow. 
Wow. <sighs> so satisfying, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And the next thing to try is to try some late, um, some uh, inkjet prints and see if I can get anything off those. Because I know that somebody has, or is it um, Carol McDonald? Somebody, somebody has. I was oh, watching I a video of them. Now those gaps are not tearing, these bits are, but those are not, those are left from the previous right. pull. Right. And that's where you use I'm the quite pleased with that. That's where you use the Titan buff, isn't it? Um, yeah, we use some Titan buff because you can see it here. Yeah. Where I jump through, but I also use the, I use the red, the, the new red, red one, the one I made. This yep. is our end picture for this. Lovely. 